This lesson is on algebraic fractions, and we'll be looking at simplifying algebraic fractions. And this slide also shows you your equipment list and some of the keywords that we'll be using, thing, uh, such as the highest common factor when we are factorizing expressions so that we're able to simplify uh, the fractions. So in this uh, first example, the first thing that we need to understand is we can't we cannot just simply cancel those x's uh, because they're both uh, on the numerator and denominator you need to uh, have the x term in each term on the numerator for you to be able to cancel it so for that what we need to uh, do is to first part factorize either the numerator and or the denominator depending on whether you can factorize it and only then we can cancel out the common factors so in this example, the first step, uh, 3x squared does not factorize, that's a lowest term, but that 3x plus 6 does factorize. So what we're going to do first part, factorize it. Highest common factor there will be a 3, so that will be outside the bracket. So then, that, then we end up with 3 bracket x plus 2. And then now uh, the 3x squared uh, stays there on the denominator. And only now we can cancel the 3s. Because the 3 is common in both uh, the numerator terms, so therefore it goes out of the bracket. So now we can cancel it after it's been factorized. And then uh, that's the only term that uh, factorizes, that cancels out. So now we've got x plus 2 divided by x squared. And that's the uh, uh, final answer. And again, we make sure that we do not cancel out the x's here again, because it's not a common uh, term in the numerator. So remember, uh, factorize first, uh, always factorize before we start cancelling. So what I would like you to do now is pause this video and try this question. Once you've uh, simplified it, play the video and then I'll go through the answer. So for this question, uh, first part, the 3x squared plus 15x uh, will factorize with the x term being common and the number 3 also being common. So 3x is common uh, for the numerator, so we'll take that outside the bracket. So then that becomes uh, 3x there, and then inside the bracket it'll be x plus 5. And then and the 27x is still there on the denominator. So the next step is now I can cancel the common terms. So again, I can cancel the x's because they're uh, outside the bracket. And then I can also cancel the three uh, with the 27. So dividing three divided by 27 is one over nine. So then I'm left with uh, one times x plus five divided by nine. Uh, x plus five divided by nine is the final answer. So in this example, uh, we've got four x plus, uh, four x minus 20 divided by x squared minus 13 x. Uh, plus 40 and this time we need to uh, factorize both terms so for the numerator the highest common factor there would be the 4 so we take the 4 on the outside and that leaves x uh, minus 5 inside the bracket so again I can check by expanding this bracket and I should end up with that 4x uh, 4 times minus 5 is minus 20 and for this now I've got double brackets the x squared minus 13x plus 40 so that's a quadratic so now i need to factorize this using my uh, double brackets so when i factorize this i need two numbers that multiply to give me uh, 40 and then add to give me minus 13 so when i uh, if i use uh, 5 add 8 5 and 8 gives me the 13, so now I need to get positive, so therefore uh, both signs will be the same, but because it's minus 13, so therefore they are both negative. Now, once I get to this stage, now the uh, next part is just to cancel any common terms or common brackets. So uh, the x minus 5 brackets are the, both the same, so I can cancel those there. So therefore I'm left with uh, 4 divided by x. Uh, minus 8 as an answer. 
So what I would like you to do now is pause the video and try this question for yourself. Make sure you factorize either one or both the numerator and denominator and then cancel the fraction down. Uh, once you've done the answer, play the video and then I'll go through the answer. So for this uh, question, first part, when you factorize x squared plus uh, 7x plus 10, you'll get x plus 2, x plus 5 in double brackets. And here the common factor there is 3, uh, 3x plus 15. So a factor on the outside will be 3, and so therefore x plus 5. And the x plus 5 brackets will cancel. So you'll end up with x plus 2 over 3. In this next example, we've got x squared minus 16 on the numerator x squared minus x minus 20 and again uh, we need to factorize so in this first uh, part for the numerator x squared minus 16 we need to be able to recognize that this is a difference of two squares as a quadratic so it's a double bracket so you get x uh, plus 4 and x minus 4 okay 16 being a square number and then the second part uh, for the denominator again we're going to factorize this into double brackets so we need two numbers that add uh, sorry two numbers that multiply to give me minus 20 but then add to give me minus 5 um, and those 5 and 4 so 5 and 4 and then again to decide on, on the on this uh, value there is minus 1 so therefore uh, minus 5 plus 4 will give me the minus 1 so uh, 4 times minus 5 will give me the minus 20 and again, once we get to this stage, we can just uh, look at which brackets are the same, cancel the common brackets, and then we've got the final answer as x minus 4 divided by x minus 5. And again, you can either leave the brackets there or not have them there, but make sure that you do not cancel those x's. You cannot cancel those x's there. So what I would like you to do now is uh, pause the video and try this question uh, and make sure you uh, factorize this fully. Once you've done the answer, play the video and then I'll go through the answer. So for this uh, question, uh, when we uh, factorize the numerator, for your, uh, you'll get double brackets, uh, x minus 6 and x plus 8. Uh, 8 take away the 6 will give you the plus 2 and minus 6 times 8 will give you minus 48 and then the denominator again this is a, a difference of two squares uh, 36 being a square number so that will be x plus 6 and x minus 6 so that once you uh, get to this stage uh, the common two terms that are the same which will be the x minus 6 both on the numerator and denominator that you can cancel so therefore you're left with x plus 8 and uh, x plus 8 divided by x plus 6. Uh, for this example, we've, again, we've got a uh, algebraic fraction. But this time, uh, if you look carefully on the uh, denominator, we've got a slightly more difficult quadratic uh, to factorize. The numerator, again, should be fairly straightforward with uh, the common factor of x. So what I'm going to do now, first part, I'm going to just uh, factorize the denominator separately. So using uh, uh, 3x squared plus 13x plus 4 and using the AC method. So AC 3 times 4 gives me 12. So now I need two numbers that multiply um, to give me 12, but then add to give me 13. So the factors using the factors of 12 are 12 and 1. So those will give me 13. So now I can separate this out. To, uh, for, sorry, that it becomes 3x squared plus 12x plus 1x plus 4. So all I've done, I've separated those two parts out. Uh, next step is now I'm going to uh, separate those two terms into two parts and factorize each part separately. So now if I factorize uh, the left-hand side, I will end up at 3x as a common factor and then x. Uh, plus 4 uh, inside the bracket and then for this uh, this term uh, these two terms here uh, 
common factor well the only common factor would be one uh inside the outside the bracket so the an x plus four again inside the bracket so now again i've got a common bracket there x plus four i'll take that outside so x plus four and i'm left with three x plus one so this is my uh, double bracket for this uh, expression using the ac method because the coefficient for the x squared is larger than one so now i'm going to put this back into uh, my algebraic expression so that i've got uh, for the numerator x squared plus 4x common factor is x so i've got x on the outside and an x plus 4 inside the bracket and my denominator is 3x plus 1 times x plus uh, 4. And again, once I get to this stage, uh, common brackets, which are x plus 4 on both the numerator and the denominator. So I can cancel those out. So then I'm left with x divided by 3x plus 1. So for these questions, okay, I'm looking for use. I'm looking to use the AC method because uh, the coefficient of the x squared is bigger than 1, uh, where I've got a quadratic like this. So what I would like you to do now is uh, pause the video and try this question. Uh, remember, you're going to need to use the AC method uh, to factorize this uh, denominator here. And uh, Once you've uh, simplified this uh, algebraic fraction fully, play the video and then I'll uh, go through the answer. So what you should get is this is that uh, the uh, 2x squared plus x, uh, x is on a common term there, so uh, 2x plus 1 inside the bracket, and the quadratic 2x plus 1 and x plus 3 uh, with your double brackets, and then the 2x plus 1 is a common uh, term in both the numerator and denominator, so if we can cancel it, and we're left with x uh, divided by x plus 3. The main task for this lesson is in two parts. Uh, the first part, you need to uh, go to this web page. I will put a link on task charts uh, so that you go directly to that page and complete that task there. Uh, once you've done that task, make sure you take a picture of your completed task. And then uh, the second part is to complete three questions from the red, three from the amber and three from the green uh, from this uh, task. And once you've completed both tasks, I want you to make sure you upload a picture of both tasks onto class charts uh, to show that you've completed the work for this lesson.